Thanks for joining me on TCM as we continue to celebrate our 31 days of Oscar Festival. I'm Alicia Malone and I'm so happy that tonight's Oscar focus is on the category of Best Foreign Language Film. This category was officially created in 1956 for the 29th Academy Awards. Prior to that, between 1947 and 1955, Honorary Oscars were awarded for foreign films, but not every year, and it wasn't a competitive category with nominees. Plus, unlike Best Picture, the Best Foreign Language Film Oscar, which is now, by the way, titled Best International Film, is accepted by the director, not the producer. When it became competitive, the first two winners were the same director, Federico Fellini from Italy, winning for La Strada and Knights of Kiberia. And his next win came in 1963 for the film we're about to see, Eight and a Half. Fellini gave his film that title because he saw this as being his eighth and a half movie, having made six features and three short films before this. It's a semi-autobiographical film starring Marcello Mastroianni as a Fellini-like successful movie director named Guido who is struggling to find inspiration for his next movie and escapes into fantasies, dreams, memories and nightmares while taking a rest cure at a fancy spa hotel. The kernel of this idea came to Fellini when he was also taking a cure during what he said was a process of lengthy examination at a moment when things were at a low ebb. He started sifting through his own memories, asking himself existential questions about who he was and where he was going in life. Thus, Fellini said, his next film would be a journey to the inner self. It would be a catalytic film for myself, for the actors involved, and I hoped for the people who would see it. It sure was catapulting the already successful Fellini into a new stratosphere, becoming a true film artist and captivating audiences around the world. So let's see it from 1963. This is Eight and a Half. Eight and a Half is one of those classics that has been endlessly studied for good reason. It remains compelling to watch and fun to talk about no matter how many times you've seen it. And Eight and a Half was also very appreciated in its time, picking up several Oscar nominations, a tough task for a foreign film, with five in total, including Best Director for Federico Fellini and Best Foreign Language Film. Eight and a Half won the award for Best Foreign Language Film, with Fellini accepting the Oscar from presenter Julie Andrews. But unlike his alter ego character of Guido, Fellini wasn't out of ideas, saying in his speech that he was especially happy to win an Oscar at that moment because he was just about to start a new film, which was likely Juliet of the Spirits from 1965. And Fellini would take to the Oscar stage two more times in his career, winning the Best Foreign Language Film Award for Amacord, released in 1973, and an honorary Oscar in 1993 to recognize his cinematic accomplishments that have thrilled and entertained worldwide audiences. And here's a fun fact. Italy leads the scoreboard as the country with the most Oscar wins outside of the US, 14 to date, followed by France with 12 wins, Japan with five, and Spain and Denmark with four. And next on TCM's 31 Days of Oscar, we'll be watching the first Danish film to win an Academy Award. It's from 1987 and is guaranteed to make you hungry. Next on TCM, Babette's Feast, then Indochine, and later, Sundays and Cybele. Say bonsoir to TCM tonight.